Hey guys, it's Dante Ferrigno again here at Ferrigno Freedom Channel and I just wanted to come talk to you about something a little specific when it comes to the fasting that I've been doing. This is my fourth week of doing 72 hour fasts on the weekends and that's exercise while fasting. Now for carnivores, people who follow my channel typically are on a carnivore way of eating. I know there's some ketos out there, but you know, this may apply to you as well. One of the key things you wanna know is that you do have energy stores in your body. You've got places that your body can pull energy from even when you're not eating. Those energy stores include things like glycogen, fat, uh, vitamins that are in your system like B12, vitamin D. There's a number of vitamins that you'll be able to draw from that you've got stored in your body, but also protein. And that's where you wanna be careful because your body gets protein from the place that it's already put protein and that's in your muscles. So what you wanna be able to do is you wanna be able to draw energy from those first areas a lot more than you do from your muscles. And when you're fasting, your body's already looking for those energy stores. And when you're exercising, it's gonna speed up some of that process. But you wanna be able to ret retain that muscle mass, so you wanna be sure to do your exercises right. A little bit of resistance training and a little bit of aerobic exercise are gonna be good. And one thing to keep in mind is, if you've been doing a carnivore diet for any period of time, you've probably already seen your body convert your stored fat into energy because you've lost a lot of fat, just like I have. But even if you've been doing carnivore for a while, you know, you can get into a point where your body starts storing fat again. That's something that I ran into after a number of things that happened. One, I started working out a good bit less. I had been fasting uh, a lot toward the end of the last cycle before I stopped exercising so much. And then I went a period of about nine months where I didn't do any fasting. And most of the exercise I was getting was either coming from rucking, walking, and random, uh, not random, but small amounts of push-ups and squats throughout the day. So I wasn't doing a heavy workout like I had been doing all last year. Ever since we moved into the house, it's been difficult. And you know, one of the things about my story is that I'm just a regular guy like you. I'm still working a full-time job. I still got a family to take care of. I got this channel to take care of. So I'm very active, I'm very busy, I got a lot going on. And sometimes it's easy to make excuses to not do the things that I know I need to do to make my body the way I want it to be. The way I want it to be strong and healthy and ready for whatever's gonna come my way. I'm still feeling great even after three years of eating only meat, something I thought never would have been possible before this. But my body is definitely more fat adapted than it was after that period of extended less exercise and that period of extended less fasting. Because for three weeks now, I've been doing fasting on a regular basis. I got four days of eating. I'm doing two meals a day as early in the morning as possible. Occasionally, I still have something a little later than that. It's always protein though, or fat. So I'm not worried about it. But at the same time, I want to be able to get my eating window as close as I can to the beginning of the day so that I'm doing that intermittent fasting throughout the week also, keeping my ketones high, burning that fat, and using it so that when I go into my weekend uh, fasting phase, I'm really gonna be supercharging that fat loss and targeting those areas. And one of the things that I do fasting for is to deal with loose skin. I've lost close to 100 pounds since I've been doing the lion diet. So as I lost all that weight, that skin kind of said, well, there's nothing around here. We're just gonna lay here. And it's gone down some with fasting and it's gone down some over the years but it's not exactly where I want it to be yet. <clears throat> so that was one of the things I wanted to bring back in by doing this fasting routine is to kickstart my fat adaption once again, get my metabolism back into gear for burning fat, building muscle, and getting the healthy body I wanna get. Now on the first day of my fast, I usually like to do more weight exercises because I've only just eaten a few hours before the exercise I'm gonna do. So I've still got plenty of protein in my system for my body to be able to draw from as it's still digesting. As you know, meat takes a little while, a little while longer than most foods to get through your system. So you're gonna be drawing nutrients from that over a period of up to two days in some cases. And that's gonna give you the protein stores you need to still keep your muscles going longer. On a shorter fast like this, 72 hours, you should be able to do some resistance training throughout. Now, as you progress through the fast, 
you might want to lessen the intensity a little bit but it really just depends on how well fat adapted you are and what you ate for your last meal. My last meal earlier today was a pound and a half of ribeye. So I've got plenty of protein ready for my body to draw from to be able to keep those muscles strong and to also give me the energy I need. It's gonna start pulling from the fat first. It's gonna look for glycogen next. That's you know something that's gonna definitely be produced when you start working your muscles. You're gonna produce, your muscles are gonna produce lactic acid, which is gonna cause that glycogen to come out and you're gonna be able to use that in your system. But as you're breaking down those muscles, you need to have some of that protein there. You're gonna have plenty of energy for your body to draw from, but you wanna make sure that you can keep those muscles strong and build those muscles back up. So I usually do my, my weight lifting and my push-ups on my first and second day, and then I bring in a bit more of an aerobic style exercise on my final day. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video because the last thing you wanna do when you've been working on your body and getting yourself in shape so that you can be ready for what's gonna to come today you don't want to start breaking down that muscle by not taking care of it while you're fasting. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them for you, and I'll see you guys the next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Be sure to check out Ferrigno Freedom Facebook group. This group is private so that you don't have to worry about all your personal information being shared with all of your friends. We're just here to encourage each other and keep each other on track.